Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to London where we're here for the Motorcycle Show 2024. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So we're going to kick start this year's show off with the Yamaha stand. And I think Yamaha has done a fantastic job with this XSR 900 GP. Or do you prefer the naked version? They had a full stand with the MT range. So I have rode both of these bikes. You've got the Yamaha MT 09 SP which is a fantastic street bike, more than enough power for the road, and also its bigger brother. This one would be perfect if you fancy a few track days. Or if you're just starting out in the biking world, how about this Yamaha XSR 125? If you need something that's gonna go the distance, how about this Tracer 7GT? Try and get your knee down on one of these. It's the Yamaha R125, the R7, and the mighty R1M. Get dirty on the Tenere 700. You can do an experience day with Yamaha and try before you buy. This nicely specced World Raid offers a 23 litre tank and can get you a massive 300 mile range. Over on the Kawasaki stand, we've got the Ninja Sports Bike lineup, starting with this ZX4 RR, a ZX6, and the big brother of the family, the ZX-10R, which produces 200 brake horsepower and 115 newton meters of torque. Or maybe these are more your style, You've got the Z650 RS and the Z900 RS. These bikes both come with a four year manufacturer's warranty. And in the center of the show, they're just getting set up the Extreme Enduro live action. So what do you think to this Ninja 650 performance at 8,389 pounds? It's got 67 brake horsepower and does a massive 64 miles to the gallon. I think it looks pretty cool. There's also the Z900 SE Performance. Or if you need something with a bit more oomph, how about this Ninja H2 SX SE? 200 brake horsepower, but will still do 52 miles to the gallon, but weighs a massive 267 kilos and will cost 27,649 pounds. Anybody for EV? I'd certainly like to try one of these hybrid ninjas. I think with a petrol engine and the electric combined, this bike is gonna go well off the lights. The smaller Z125 would not only make a good starter bike, but I think it would make a good commuter bike. At 4,299 pounds, this will do a massive 104 miles to the gallon. Very similar to the 650 Ninja Performance, this is the naked version, the Z650. 8,139 pounds. This would make a good all-rounder. I certainly like it in the red color. If you've got a bit of cash to splash, how about this Ninja ZX-10RR? The 40th anniversary edition at 26,599 pounds. 
This bike's been based on the original 1993 ZXR750. Right, it's getting busy in here now. Suzuki stands behind me. Let's go check out some of these bikes. There's a few manufacturers battling away for this new era of sports bikes. And this is Suzuki's GSX 8R. This one has a 776cc engine that's pumping out 80 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters of torque. And the price on this bike is £8,899. I can't help but admire the legendary Hayabusa. This is the 25th anniversary edition and discounted with £750 off at £17,849. It's a beautiful bike. It's got a massive 1340cc engine and it's probably not for the faint-hearted. Here's one of the GSX S 1000s along with Suzuki's V-Strom 650 and the bigger brother the 1050. This is the V-Strom 800DE and with these graphics on it transforms the bike. This one always reminds me of the old Bandits, it's the SV650, a V-twin engine and I like the iron grey colour. So if you're after an adventure tourer then check out Triumph's new Tiger GT1200 Explorer. This bike's going to be available this spring at £18,695 on the road. Triumph have just made this bike even better. It's the new Tiger 900 Rally Pro at £14,495. It now has 13% more peak power than the previous model. Triumph have gone full out entering into this new market with the all new TF250X motocross bike at £9,795. This bike looks like it could be a winner. The design, the spec and the thought process that's gone into this bike is absolutely fantastic and I'm sure Triumph have got more to come. Triumph have also pulled another one out of the bag with this new Daytona 660. The price is right at £8,595 and the inline 3 engine in this bike is producing 93 brake horsepower and 69 newton meters of torque. This Triumph Thruxton 1200FE final edition is an absolute bike of beauty. This would certainly be a crowd pleaser on that Sunday morning ride. This is the all new mighty Rocket 3 GT, 23,595 pounds. And the black one is the R version. I couldn't leave out the bobber, not forgetting the Speedmaster 1200 and the Bonneville. And another new bike from Triumph, this is the Scrambler 400X. You'll see me personally put this bike through its paces on this channel, so don't forget to hit that subscribe. The elegant Norton stand speaks for itself. Norton has produced 125 bikes in order to celebrate their 125 year anniversary. Be sure to check out next week's video where I go into more detail about these bikes.
So over in the corner of the hall here, we've got Henry Cole that's doing his restoration live. Let's go take a little look. There are mates, especially the boss bits. We need the battery and the stars are rolled off. Oh no, we've got the one, just the battery. We need the battery on the back. I know I was 13 and I okay? But when you actually... Boys, here we go, look. see if it goes. Ready? And we're going to spin it up, are you ready? If you fancy buying something a little bit crazy, this bike's coming up at the Bonhams auction. This is a Guinness World Record holder, 2003 White Lock, 4.2 litre, 48 cylinder Tinker Toy, expected to get between 40 and 60 thousand pounds. And be sure to check out Iconic Auctioneers. These guys have got some beautiful bikes going through. One of the bikes is this 2023 brand new Aston Martin motorcycle. It's number 8 of only 88 produced and it's estimated to fetch between 150 and 200,000 pounds. Another one up for grabs is this 2003 Ducati Moto GP. It's a GP3X Loris Caparossi bike, estimated to fetch between 250 and 300,000 pounds. Here's another manufacturer that's just going from strength to strength, especially in the UK. It's Royal Enfield. This is another bike I'll be out testing pretty soon. It's the Royal Enfield Himalayan 450, the 452 liquid cooled single cylinder, producing 40 brake horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque. It'll be interesting to see how this new bike performs. Honda didn't have a stand this year at the show, but what they did have was the old versus new. So they bought along this Fireblade CBR 900RR from 1992 to put alongside their 2022 CBR 1000RR Fireblade for the 30th anniversary. On the BMW stand, we've got the new F800 GS, the F900 GS, the F900 GS Adventure, and the R1300 GS Tramatana was always going to be the crowd pleaser. That's the options 791. I could have sat on this one all day long, it was that comfortable. This is BMW's R18. I mean, it's a bit of a heavy weight at 345 kilo, but that weight would be quite low down. It's got the Boxer engine, and the prices start from £17,480. Now here's a bike I'd like to do a test ride on. It's the M1000XR. Is this the Ducati Street Fighter RS Beater? It certainly beats it on price and it also beats it on brake horsepower. The one you see here has got the competition kit on it. It's fully specced up at £27,680. I reckon these two Tourers have got the legs to do the distance. You've got this first one which is the R1250 RT LE. And then the other one is the K1600 GT.
The number plate says it all the long way round. Yes, Charlie Boardman's adventure base camp was here. He was there giving advice and inspiration for adventure rides. I could not show you this. It's called the Flying Pigeon. I'm not sure what it's all about. I'll let you make up your own mind. Here's another bike I shall be on test soon with as well, it's the KTM 390 Adventure. This is a single cylinder 373cc engine that produces 44 brake horsepower and 37 newton meters of torque. It's weighing in at 172 kilos and costs £6,599. With the WP suspension on it, I think you're getting a lot of bike for your money. So KTM had bought their full range of adventure bikes with a 790, the 890R and the bigger 1290 Super Adventure S. We've got some decent offers on the Duke 125. If you pick up the 23 edition, it's only £3,999. This is the new KTM 390 Super Duke Evo R. £19,599. This bike is an absolute animal. 185 brake horsepower, 145 newton meters of torque. You're going to have some fun on this bike. That's if you can handle it. If you have to value for money, check out the CF Moto stand. This is the NK range. This one's the 300 NK for £3,499. It doesn't look a bad bike. And then they've got the 450 NK for £4,999 and also the 650 NK for the same price. This is the 800 version, this is £7,499. I mean, just look at that TFT screen, it's the size of an iPad. They do an MT700 adventure bike and they also do an MT800 adventure sport, adventure touring. It don't look a bad bike for the money to be honest. And last but not least, I'm going to leave you with a few Harley Davidsons. So I hope you've enjoyed our little walk around the London Bike Show 2024. We've had a fantastic time. I hope you have too. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a like and we'll see you in the next one.